The Ray Next for SketchUp, Material, Light and Render Settings Tutorial for the Exterior Scene. This is my render output without environment fog. This is render with fog. Bird eye view. Here my full model with proxy trees and grass. For the more about proxies, find the video from my YouTube playlist. This is landscape proxy grass, I am going to show you how to place the grass to the terrain. First select the area, which you need to place the grass. Keep on mind to avoid select the area of house. Select the face and then go the plug in a fur tool. And find the plant you wanted to place and make fur. You can increasing the amount of grasses. This is my render viewport. And here my container model, two container boxes combined with steel structure. Container boxes and 3D furnitures I got from 3dwarehouse.com. I am going to show you, how to make quick steel frames, with plugin, named 1001 bit pro. Select the line. Then go to convert selected edges to profile. You can see many profiles there. Select the profile, which you want. That's the way, I did, all the steel frames here.
Let's go for the V-Ray material settings. Container boxes steel material. I added only reflection layer. Glass material settings. This is the same to the every glasses here. Even car windscreen and lamps. Outdoor plastic chair material settings. Here also added only reflection layer. Steel frame material settings. Wood plank material settings. For this, I added bump map, for more realistic output. For the bump bitmap, I used same texture. Balcony railing material settings. For that, I used default V-Ray metal material from V-Ray material library. For this plant, I added small reflection. Cement wall material settings. Car body material settings. Material settings for the outdoor dining table. Sofa material, I added default for rail leather material, from the Ray material library. Canvas canopy material, for this I used, default V-Ray material of paper.
Now I am going to showing light settings. In this project I added the ray dome light for the background lighting. For the dome light, I added HDR a map. HDR I map I downloaded from hdriskies.com. IES light settings. This is my IES lights of the ceiling. I added Bure rectangle lights for the balcony and inside the container boxes. Look here how the rectangle lights working. For this tree I added the ray spotlight. The ray spotlight settings. Turn off the V-Ray Sun. If you're working on a day scene, turn on the V-Ray Sun.
Here my V-Ray render settings. I used V-Ray GPU rendering. My graphic card is GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4 GB. This is my render output. If you need show the fog, enable the V-Ray volumetric environment. I hope you can understand everything. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.